Dude, the the pogicity I felt last night, going to bed at 10 and realizing that the East Coast hockey game was still on because it was headed to overtime four, I was so smug. I was like, I'm getting a good night's sleep. Panthers and Hurricanes fans could never. They don't even understand. And imagine my ass waking up at uh, 3.40 a.m., my kid's going, I, I saw a scary monster. I saw a scary monster. I'm going into the room trying to figure out how to defuse the situation. There was no scary monster. Took like half an hour to get her to calm down and go to sleep again. Holy cow. I am fucked up today. How do you handle a monster? You like fake uh, punch it, basically. You go, if a monster shows up, you just go like this. And then she starts to laugh, and then you go, okay, honey, good night, and she goes, no, I want you to stay. And then you go, okay, I'll stay for five minutes, and then you lay down uh, on the hardwood. Oh, wait, one moment, please. My... It's not the monster. It was just someone doing that TikTok challenge where they um, walk into strangers' houses. A streamer was talking about how streaming, streaming is not sustainable last night. And they asked chat, do you expect Northern Lion to do quizzes the rest of his life now? People said yes. If you think uh, streaming is not sustainable, have you tried um, setting up a 25-hour work week and then showing up 10 minutes late every day? I think there's some truth to the fact that because I played Isaac for so long, like, I can do... I can set... A reasonable pace and just do it forever. It's like, you know, there's in in jogging, you know, there's like a, a pace that you can do for like two hours. There's a pace that you can do for an hour. There's a pace you can do for 30 minutes. There's a pace you can do for five minutes. There's a pace you can do for 30 seconds. There's a pace you can do for 10 seconds. The dulls every day is a forever pace. There's no doubt about that. Isaac for 10 years is like an, an ultra marathon. Here, Tomo, you, you can leave, buddy. You can get out of here. What's after the dulls? Greed Venturi, followed by Jackbox. I'm, there's kind of like a, a Jackbox mutiny on our hands, though. I'm not very pleased about it. People do not want to play Quicksword anymore. Chibli is probably going to show up for the second hour, which, like, part of that is because... It starts at like 7 a.m. his time, and part of it is because I don't think he likes Quicksword. And then Sinvicta said Quicksword is the worst game in like any pack. I'm losing it. Quicksword is like an actual top five all-time Jackbox game. It's certainly like top eight. Top five, you're getting into some goaded ones. You know, you got the you got Quiplash, Fibbage. It's in the winner's bracket. Thank you. Thank you. Job job. Listen, here's the thing. Every relationship is about compromise. I'm 70-30 on job job, but I play it because I know other people love it. And I hope that we can extend that same compromise to, to quicksort. You're 70-30 because you're funny without nonsense answers? I, dude, I, I would vote for my job job answers 100% of the time. What would you bring to the office potluck? My office potluck pick is... Hot dish of feces. Then my opponent, come shit. I read mine out loud, dead silence in the Discord call. Before I can even finish the first syllable of come shit, the entire Discord call erupts in outrageous laughter. It's the funniest thing they've ever heard in their entire life. It loses 91 to 9. I have three points at the end of round one. It drives me crazy, man. Brevity is wit. Excuse me, fucking... Who said that in Hamlet? Menelaus? Brevity is the soul of wit. There's, there's a line from... Polonius! Polonius! Then Hamlet said, cum shit. Yorick, I hardly knew your cum shit. Wait, why'd you spill your beans? Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing here. We might as well get started with the dulls. I took NyQuil last night too, so when I woke up at... Uh, 3.45 a.m. to placate my toddler. I was not at my best, man. I was like begging her. I, I was like, please. <laughs> Mommy and daddy need to sleep. 
and then I'd like try to creep out the door. As soon as I got like to the 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 baby gate, she'd be like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'll stay for five more minutes. She's like asleep, but every 45 seconds, she like opens her eye just a little bit to make sure I'm there. My body is just draped over the edge of the crib because my spine doesn't work. They call them the dulls, um, but they're anything but. Yet they're anything but. You don't want to say but two twice in the same sentence, unless you're Sir Mix-a-Lot. I will say, even though my daughter got me up insanely early this morning, she did have a very cute bit last night. She saw mommy do this, and then she said, um, pinch my nose. So I pinched her nose, and then she said, Spanish, mom. She has no concept of who uh, Squidward is, but she knows that if you say SpongeBob in a very nasal voice, it always gets a laugh. So we did that for about 45 minutes. Is Crete a country? <laughs> Could it be Cyprus? I feel like Cyprus would export more than a billion dollars. It's east of Cyprus. Could it be Syria? It is Syria. Okay, fair enough. I know that Syria, you know, is going through it. I honestly would have predicted them to have more than a billion dollars in exports. Going through it is one way of putting it. I'm not a worldly person, okay? I'm just trying not to put my foot in my own mouth. I'm not trying to... First, HBeads99, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. I, I don't want to be um, David Guetta, you know... Shout out to his family. I'm doing what I can with what I got, okay? How's the milk in the cereal situation going? Still, still going strong. I even bought another case of oat milk from Costco last time I was there. I have, I would say, 7.8 liters of, of oat milk in my house right now. What brand of oat milk? It's Kirkland Signature, okay? The reason it's Kirkland Signature is because it was cheaper than all the other oat milks. And also it comes in a shelf-stable form, so it doesn't have to go in the refrigerator. Because we already have like 4 liters of chocolate milk and 20 cans of sparkling water in the refrigerator. Well, once we open it, we put it in the fridge. But then it's like 1 liter containers. Those are easy enough to, to fit. What the hell is this? Wolfpack increased conversion by 36% with Shopify Plus? What kind of ads am I getting, man? Some Zelda ass item? Is it? It looks like it has like a a thin blue line patch on it or something. I don't live in America. I live in I live in Canada. Is that Spotify related? It's it's Shopify. It's one of the biggest countries in uh, or biggest companies in Canada. It, it was number one for a while, but then Royal Bank stays winning. Anyway, it's a thousand kilometers west of Burkina Faso. Bro, Burkina Faso is on the coast. What's it's it's um the the med, no you know what I'm talking about the island that you always land on as Portugal when you are colonizing the world in Europa Universalis Four. Azores, that's not a real country. Okay, I mean this doesn't get you across the the Atlantic, man. So it must still be on the west coast. I know it's not Djibouti. We, we went there yesterday. It's like Togo, Senegal, no, Nigeria, Benin, Togo, Ghana, Senegal, Liberia. It's north of Liberia. It's Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, that's south. It's west of Cote d'Ivoire. It's Sierra Leone. You guess Cote It is Sierra Leone. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, the Mercator projection has got hands. Am I right? Didn't Christopher... Did, I, I don't know if I got clickbaited. Did Christopher Nolan actually drop a real atomic bomb to get shots for, for Oppenheimer? Yes. That's crazy. Imagine if he did that and then the cameras weren't even rolling. Yes, he is going to federal prison. I, there's got to be a, a bigger prison if you drop an atomic bomb. 
This is Little Big Planet. What, bro? Is Little Big Planet? It, maybe it's um Sony and all All Stars. It, bro. It's Little Big Planet. I skip. This shit is little big planet, bro. Little big am I losing big little planet? Oh, you piece of crap. What the the hell is that? Because there's no space between little and big. Give me the points. One word, little big planet. Motherfucker. I'm not blaming the dev. I'm blaming the 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 kerning. No, put me back. Oh, I know this one. It's it's Rainbow Six. This is a Rainbow Six game. It's Rainbow Six Vegas, I think. I know you're going to be like, oh, the Eiffel Tower is there. Yeah, idiot. That's the Paris Resort in Las Vegas. Get owned. I don't know how I knew that so quickly. Probably because I actually owned it. That makes sense. I played a lot. You know what was great about Rainbow Six Vegas? This, this is how simple we were back in the early uh, or the mid 2000s. If you were on, like, the, the helicopter going into the mission and you were playing co-op with your friends on Xbox Live, when they talked, like, in the party, the player's, the character's mouth would move as if they were talking as well. Very, uh, who, whoever did that attention to detail in Rainbow Six Vegas, I hope they're, like, the CFO of Ubisoft now. <coughs> It's a train. Bro, I know people, like, idiots are kind of like, oh, I wish people still dressed up to, like, go traveling. Fuck that. I don't want to get on the train and then uh, look to the side and then the person next to me is wearing a hat that's, like, the size of a huge fucking watermelon. Who cares? Just, like, you're taking up too much space. You're going to be bumping into me nonstop. You know what she's thinking? She's, she's hoping that they're serving some sushi on the, on the train a little later. Did they have sushi back then? Maybe not in what I, appears to be maybe England or the United States. So true, so true. This looks like the 1910s to me. It is 1909. I've never been so happy to be slightly wrong. This, now we're to do, this is my era. So the arcade cabinet kind of screams 80s, but the CRT and the, the dress-up game here is definitely like late 90s vibes. Maybe the monitor is a little small. I might put this at... I, I'm going to go to 99. It's 98. Okay, we'll take that. Everybody in this photo is from a different era. This guy is from 2023. You were from the 1970s. You were from the 1950s. And this guy, I don't even know. This is like the G-Man. This is a time traveler. Didn't we see him yesterday measuring someone's bathing suit to put them in prison? I, just based on her, this is 1978. 1982, I forgot. NASCAR is like always... Four years behind the times. Don't do well, you know. Okay, sorry. Uh, sorry, NASCAR. NASCAR is on the cutting edge of fashion. That's what I meant to say. This is definitely 1920s. 1922. We, got, we were so close to 4,000 today. That's not six inches. Get her. Bro, she's probably just... She's, she loves sushi so much. She's just trying to see, like, you know, the ocean that birthed it. Or you say you don't like seafaring, ye be the landlubber that signed up with this scurvy lot. Please stop. Well, you don't like subway pirate memes? Okay, this is fucking me up. There's a wheat field, like within looking respectfully distance of downtown Manhattan. This can't be real. Or it can't be like a candid shot. It must be staged. Either way, this to me, this looks like 1997. In New York City. The greatest city in the world. <laughs> Sorry. 
could be like right there. Uh, maybe you're closer to clean market. I don't know. 1997, New York City. It's 1982. It's a great camera. Harvesting a wheat field in downtown Manhattan. Project Wheat Field, a confrontation. Sounds like a, a RPG. This is um, the White House lawn. They're looking up at the solar eclipse. So this is Paris. I feel comfortable saying that this is Paris. 1922. It was 1912. Parisians viewing the solar eclipse. Wow, it really was. <laughs> the invention of blindness. <laughs> oh, man. This dude is, is flagpole sitting like uh, Harvey Danger. Look at all the people that came out to, to see him, too. I'll level with you. I got no idea where this is. Spain? I should... That's not Spain, brother. That's... Chile, I'm not good with the flags. So have you ever been to Santiago, Chile? Twice last year. I'll say this is in the 1930s. 1959 in Cuba. Okay, well, that was, I got 12 points. That's probably the worst score that I've ever gotten in uh, Time Guesser history. My final score, 28,000. Pretty not good. By the way, I haven't heard anybody talk to me about the Hockey World Championships. I can only take that to mean that Canada's rolling right now. Plus two, plus two. Just let me check. IIHF World Championships 2023. Just let me see the schedule and results. How we doing here? How we doing here? IIHF, double IIHF, the worst website in Earth's history. Are they still in the group stage? Let me look at Canada here. 5-1 versus Kazakhstan. Act like you've been there before. The group stage isn't even over yet. Okay, never mind. My, my hubris was uh, misplaced. What's the better movie, Moneyball or The Big Short? <sighs> Both uh, good movies based on Michael Lewis books. I'm a Moneyball guy. Moneyball's like... The Big Short is like... Um, trying to think of the best way to describe it. The Big Short is good sushi from a place that has something on the menu called like miso horny. You know, it's you order one roll, the roll is $19. Um, and you do, you're like, is one roll enough? And they're like, one roll is enough. And it comes out and it's got like chipotle mayonnaise and 20 different sauces and four tempura shrimp shoved into the roll. And then Moneyball is like going to the Jiro Dreams of Sushi restaurant. And they just, they're like, here's your meal. And it's like a little piece of fish on top of rice and then you eat it and you're like this is the best thing I've ever eaten in my life this means nothing to me sorry let me put it in terms my audience can understand the big short is like um when McDonald's brings back the McRib and then Moneyball is like when McDonald's brings back the McGriddle Jesus Christ No, oh, now I get it. Extremely Gordon Gecko voice. Greed is Ventori. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I like it. It's so bad it's good. I know you thought I was going to say Greed Ventori is good. That's where we mix it up. I think I saw Dan play this. Yo, Dan is... He's on the ball, man. Although I did see that his stream today was titled, like, Cinco de Mayo. It's May 19th. Sorry, it's called Cinco de Minkus. It's referencing Cinco de Mayo. Let me just get out in front of this, okay? I, I know that my camera is blocking the name of the game. I'll just tell you, okay? I'll tell you, but everybody get your pens out. Pay attention. The name of the game is Greed Vintori. It's not for relaxing times. Make it Sun Tory time, okay? This is a game. It, it came recommended to me via chat. I believe it's a roguelite where... I know this sounds like the stupidest thing I've ever said. It's a roguelite where the combat requires you to use your mouse. Now, I don't mean like you're clicking on dudes and pop, 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 like your favorite game of all time, Call of Duty. Makes me sick. It's like 
you you have like a you can equip a shield on your mouse and then you have to like move the shield to where like the enemy is going to be doing an attack and right click at the right time and then like go equip like a different weapon and you, anyway you'll get the idea we'll, we'll we'll figure it out as we get going here my profile name will be um profile one that sounds great attack hints sure mode as designed i know you can't read any of this right now True test for your mouse, keyboard, and nerves of steel. Send me. The holy paragon of mankind. First hero of the realm. I was not expecting that. On his selfless crusade against shades of evil haunting this world. Has many a time come across ancient artifacts. Benjo Kazooie? So tremendous, it would warp the edge of reason itself. He sounds like Leonidas. Only to cast them into the maw of the mountain. For he deemed no mortal soul fit to wield a magical item of such power. Or any other magical item, really. If you want my body and you think power. The common folk did not know better than to bow to the will of the first hero. Thus arose the igneous sigil brotherhood. Safeguarding the realm ever since. Safeguarding the adventurers of old from the spoils of their adventure. This is how Muppet Treasure Island starts. With little regard. Oh, dude, it's me! Paying even less respect to the adventurers themselves. This will not stand any longer, my simple-minded yet able-bodied nephew. Wielding these last two legendary adventuring assets that I've struggled to keep safe through the years. Holy cow. You will restore the name of free adventurers to its former glory and end the Brotherhood's mad lust for power. Now, I, get out. I gotta say, it's got style miles and miles. To apply bleed, hold W and perform several, several fast strikes. I'm not just a training dummy anymore. Bra. All right. Well, this was unexpected. Dice Almighty. Block. Hold right click and move it to where an attack lands to block it. I have I have blocked some of your attacks successfully. To parry an attack, block at precisely the right time. I'm crazy. Okay, I, I took damage on the second hit. That's okay. Now the repost. Parry may stagger enemies, leaving them open to a repost. Perform a strong strike. I hit you for 102 damage. I'm crazy. Albert, Albert you all right there, bud? Huff, huff. I think I might have overreacted. Oh no, did I hurt anyone? Don't flatter yourself. What the heck is this? This liquid. I assume this isn't those creatures' usual diet. Smells familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. That's how you get salmonella. <coughs> Pardon me. Hold the Campylobacter. Okay, I'm, I'm not afraid to fight some skeletons. Oh, crap. Intruders. Hem, hem. Is this Cloud Strife? What is he? I repeat, intruders. Just you wait. My friends are almost here. I get a feeling he's trying to call for backup. Frick. They say the F word in these games is R-rated. Press spacebar to activate the cape. Ooh, nice try. He's the, ooh, no, no more male ass, please. Or female ass. Okay, six health potions, pathetic. Why don't you just steal the enemy's health potions? Whoa! A hundred damage? Holy cow. Who the hell? It's Dr. Hojo. I said it's too far. Cry me a river, you baby bitch. I'm skipping the dialogue. <laughs> hey! 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 Bro, I'm gonna die! Use your cape. 
I've burned to death. Some of the breakable objects are tough and require a strong strike. Okay, let's try this again. Walk with your shield out. You don't need to deflect it back, just, just block them. You're playing air hockey right now. You don't have to block the green ones. I made it! Bro, it's, it's, it's crazy! Get zapped. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, just kill one and then it's over. Then it's over for you. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead. I burned to death. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> You're not dead. I'm not dead. Okay. My gold, my gold. I'm going back to get my loot. The combat in this game kind of pogged up. It's kind of like what if Fruit Ninja and Dark Souls had a baby. I'm sorry, I'm brainstorming YouTube titles. I don't know why my brain is so broken that I thought this said 4269. Game name. This is The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Twilight King. I have no idea what the game's called. Tears of the Kingdom? That sounds right. They put Fruit Ninja and Zelda into Dark Souls? I'm not a loot maximizer. Even like, I, I remember playing Diablo 3 with Malf like 10 years ago. The dude would get like a little bit of loot and then he would just straight up like go back to town sell all of his like common loot and then like just roll the gold into his stash. I was like, I'm, I'm here to like shoot lightning bolts out of my, uh, out of my dude. He's here to get like seven hatchets and then go back to Geed and sell the hatchets. And he's like, dude, brother, that's 11 extra gold. Your greatness. Here is a fresh subject who is de-tolerized. You're wasting my time. My apologies, sir. We'll start right away. Yes, boss. Ugh. Ugh. No, no! When the when the Campylobacter meets the Salmonella in the system and they have a chemical reaction to create a super bacteria. Another tweet that I, or a, a genre of tweet that I keep getting recommended on Twitter now, and you're gonna say like it's too on the nose and maybe you're right. For some reason, I keep getting served um, threads of old men doing bodyweight exercises. A lot of people think that the best thing you could possibly do as a runner is to run more, but actually here's 10 simple thread emoji pointing down. Here's 10 simple exercises that can help strengthen your joints so you your next ultra marathon can go even better. And then it's just a video of a 60 year old man doing single leg bodyweight deadlifts over and over. I don't follow these people. They, it just gets pushed into my, uh, it gets pushed into my algorithmic for you page. You open the thread. Clickbait works. Why is everyone humping the air? Bro, he's doing uh, body weight uh, bent over rows. It's one of the top 10 spine exercises to do if you're in your 50s and enjoy uh, being on the elliptical machine. Didn't you see the thread on Twitter? Miserable traitor, I'll burn your guts. S, no, not like this. You, did Dan really play this? It's non-stop swearing. And you, you tall scum. Wait, look who's talking. He did not play this part. Okay. Little brother spam in the chat. Morzok the stout. Morzok the short, I mean. What the heck is this? What's going on with these? Whoa! Okay, horrible play on my part. Let's bleed him a little bit. Hello, my small man. You... Oh, I don't know what's happening. Get ready. They're all coming this way. Insane parry, I think. He's insane. He's crazy. He's the best to ever do it. It's just Fruit Ninja. You just have to react accordingly. Okay, I'm ready. 
Oh, that's not good. Insane parry. How, uh, uh, what, oh, what, what the fuck? <laughs> How am I supposed to get rid of four of those at the same time? Hmm. Maybe you can destroy the orbs. Oh, destroy the orbs perchance. Screwed that one up, something fierce. That's enough. Get, get the legs! He's doing... I, 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 I don't fully know what I did. No. Oh! <laughs> Holy cow. Ooh. Big ups to my lightning damage. I don't really know how it hit both legs, but I appreciate it either way. It's a good game. I'm having a good time. It's so funny to me that Dan played this, though. I just can't even imagine him handling the dialogue. Although, maybe adding poison makes some sense. And then consumes all poison? Save the gloves? <gasps> oh. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> it's 11.57? Holy cow. Whoa, did you see what I just saw? Let's check it out. Well, I'm just gonna save and then I'll go to the bathroom. It's 11.59. Not on my clock. It says 11.57 for me. Okay, slash marker. This is Greed Vintori. And I will, uh... I'll see you in two minutes. For some Jackbox. See you then. I loved, I loved following the, the Darkest Dungeon to discourse in this Discord. Everyone was like, yo, it's like actually really good. Yo, yo, let's check it out. And then like oh, two weeks later, I hate this shit. <laughs> I'm still about it. It's, it's too a good hard, game. man. It's, it's too hard. It's, it's, I don't think it's unfairly hard. Um, but there's a lot going on. So you got a min max, which is not everybody's cup of tea. I'll just get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I've been big on rice cakes as a snack. The, the Ooh, mini ones or the or the big ones? I like the mini ones. They uh, they make a dill pickle flavored one. Or they do indeed. Yeah, dill dill is the best. I agree. I love dill. Just do omad, bro. What's what? that? One meal a day. You eat whatever the hell we want. <laughs> I I struggle too much doing that. I just don't know about that. It takes. What do you mean? I've done it all the time. Look at me. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> you ever consider just doing ninety minutes of steady state cardio every morning? No, because uh, there's like a fifty percent chance I'm gonna impale my anus. There's not a fifty percent chance. No, Twenty three seats failed on two point two million bikes. And you okay. live in Canada, you wouldn't even be able to get right. the one. Right, tell me, okay, America. okay, if you're such a smart math guy, you either impale or you don't. That's 50%. <sighs> Shit, he's right. But also, there's they, a 50% yeah. chance I like it, so that's <laughs> only 25% bad. Yeah, maybe he has they an also, awakening. They didn't impale, they somehow broke their wrist. <laughs> what? I think it's because, well, it's like the worst nightmare, right? You fall out of the bike while your feet are clipped into the pedals. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like, it's... It's in God's hands. Whatever is going to break is going to break. Oh, yes, there's two coming out, too. Ooh. From, yes. Okay, we can do this. Can we? I think I think we can do this. Hey. This has a, a... That's a yaw. That's a low to medium amount of yaws, because they only yeah, say it like three yeah, times it's only per in the chorus. chorus. Yeah. They say it like eight times per chorus. You know what? This is I our... Think, okay, yeah, that's our baseline. Great. Sounds great. Our baseline. She loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were saying yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. The only dampener like, here is that here, the, the, the Beatles songs from that era are all like eight seconds long each. Yeah, so, yeah. But I think you got it right. This is a, the most. There's a whole song just goes, yeah, 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 yeah,
They didn't Smart think we would know this one. They didn't. They didn't think we would know this one. This is the a lot. <laughs> it might be yeah, less than yeah. she loves you, but it's it's yeah, somewhere yeah. in there. It's right or left yeah, by one, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think I, I would think it is a little more, but yeah. I think it's, it's more. Yeah. They do. They do. More. They say it a lot, but. So I feel like these should be trash. I, mean, I think we have you, trash. I think you might I think be it right. Might be trash. I don't think yeah. it's fair, but I think, I think we messed it's up right. with Beethoven. Yeah. Well, oh, that is no. least least yes. We Would messed up zero? with rock and roll. Why? Because he goes, oh yeah, oh yeah, a bunch. <laughs> I forgot about that part. I, oops, I did it again. Does not have many yes. I'm also thinking it's low on the yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh wait, she does go. Down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait. fuck. <laughs> fuck. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that? Yeah, yeah. I always, at the, every time I hear this song at the end, I think Kurt Cobain is saying, Lady Gaga, Lady <laughs> Gaga. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's quite a lot of yaz in Teen Spirit. Well? I'm trying to, like. Well, what? zero there's no streaks. Yaz? There, there's two. Yeah, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm trying. I'm sitting here thinking, like, when does he say yeah, yeah. ever? It smells like Teen Spirit. When does he say yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's been a while. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I was wrong. We could not do that. Oh, apparently the darkest dungeon board game is oh, so a lot of pieces. pieces. Oh, it's a lot of pieces. It's got to be like at least uh, over a hundred for sure. I would tuck it. Oh, tuck it. Oh, frick, sorry. Yeah, we got to make sure we're touching as many things as. We can battleship. Oh, not that many. Not many. Jesus. Not many. Not many. You no, you got pips. a little token. The pegs. The pegs. Oh, the pegs. <laughs> it's probably That's, more than like. It's, what the it's fuck fake. It's fake. It's fake. Go. So many pegs. Oh my god. <laughs> mouth. Mouth. Ryan, is a peg. you're always like, oh, like stay pegged, fellow gamers. You um, so what? Jazz. Jazz. Ooh, baby. That's pretty old. I'd say it's. Bit uh, newer than Blues, maybe? I don't, I don't know, man. Lo-fi polka. Send it's fake, fake, fake. Go, you motherfucking Wi-Fi! Oh, oh, oh. I was pushing the whole time. You need a Wi-Fi extender, it. man. What do you mean? <laughs> You're, you, you got host advantage. Yeah, I'm on a hard wire. 1.5. What the uh, hell is uh, this shit? Well, I'm just going to jam it in there. Hey, Are these hey, actual hey. genres? Jackbox devs, this is not fun. I like throwing things no in the trash. I'm just gonna touch. Trash. I'm gonna touch two Cheetos yeah. and pray. <laughs> yeah, smart, smart. But if, but if there's not Wait, a streak, when are they gonna do Cheeto hot, flaming hot Cheeto? Heavy polka. Rio? What is going on? That's are these real? Trash. No. There's gotta Whatever, be. I'll put it here. Well, don't touch the. Uh, oh. It doesn't matter, Justin. It's newer than hip hop. I didn't realize it was the last one. <laughs> and we're, I'm just saying, like we're fucked either way. Here. Doesn't matter. Well, we're all just competing against AI. Who cares? We got a soul. We got a streak. Neo Soul was real. Ninety three. What is Neo? We were soul? touching a single Cheeto with that. <laughs> oh. Uh, how's it go? Give me the beat, boys. A Neo Soul. I wanna get lost in your Neo Soul. <laughs> soul. Oh Neo soul. no no no! I can tell you like one in five. There's a there's a hundred thousand dollar bill. You can't uh, tell me I, 10? I have. Seven I don't of think them. so. The ten dollar founding father. I genuinely can't. Got a lot uh, farther. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I don't even know if I can tell you who's on the phone. Can five. we just quit this? This is trash. It's, Bro, it's, it's, I love Quicksort though. It's so good. We you can't don't even know. play it anymore. How's the thing going to come down? You don't know who's on the $5 would, building? I'm blocking the hole. Uh, Jackson? It's a popular one. Isn't it Ulysses S. Grant? I do. We've only got four people. We got to run it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> What do you mean? I, I cannot do this game for two hours. No, 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 but then Chip will join us in uh, after this one, probably. Why don't we just do um, one of the other, like, fun ones? You guys don't yeah. even know. On Monday, I'm doing a five-hour solo quicksword stream versus the audience. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd probably do really well. You, you got the, the trivia brain. I fucked up the yes really bad. I thought, I really thought we were going to get perfect on it, and instead we got, like, one right.
but the animated movies or talking animal movies i was like oh man <laughs> i was like i was made for this you can't take my wawa joke okay it's mine. i'm sorry <laughs> it's fine you can use it i actually dreamt that i got like verbally assaulted by a cyclist last night <laughs> well, like on the peloton? No, no, no. I was like, I was walking, and I think I tried to jaywalk, and then like a cyclist almost hit me, and then he said, "You have to wait two seconds for me to clear the intersection," and then I get, I hit him with like the arms, like whatever, and he said, "Like say what's up one more time, say what's up one more time," and I just walked away. I got, I was like, "This guy's gonna kill me." Right, I got bad news for you. It wasn't a dream. Oh no. I like to imagine it was a Peloton <laughs> trainer just screaming at you. You woke up at 345, man. I did wake up at 345. <laughs> That's true. Alright, All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. If one of you typed erection <laughs> with the Exxon de Goo on the did. O. I'm Rit? sure someone did this. That's really I'm good. A thumbs up. It's very good. It's, it's always a fucking super weird one, right? Yeah, it's never like it's the folk festival or something. No. Oh, Holy cow! Was so weird. The, the, the it was hyphen. so weird. It was yeah. so weird. Bro, we're gonna lose God. to the audience. I can't believe it's shrimp fucking... festival. It's not. Is it fucking <laughs> baby jumping? It's erection. No. no. <laughs> it's not you that genius. <laughs> Farting. It's got to be farting. Mm. Oh no way! Baby jumping. Baby jumping. Twenty-six percent of chat are googling cheaters. Dude, er er I'm so stunned that erection. <laughs> <laughs> I I would have bet like my life savings that that was the right answer. <laughs> what costumes do you think they'd wear? Sure, <laughs> you don't need one. <laughs> Apollo, hello, Apollo, hello. Oh, he's getting he's getting needled up. Is he okay? He's getting a tattoo. <laughs> he's oh, of, uh, no, he's getting no, a lot of vaccines. Okay, he's, he's got a dose, a case of stick of to the monitis. You say stick it to the manitis? Is that yes. Oh, I thought it was like a ligma. Oh man, I hope it's not Beanie Babies. All that people's collection worth a lot of money these days yeah dude you got the princess diana one to so, excuse me uh are you seeing the prompt Corey? it's not okay <laughs> Wait, oh, fair. did you not know that <laughs> prince harry and megan were harangued by the cops oh, and no. their car got ran off the road in new york city recently really you don't watch entertainment tonight <laughs> nope <laughs> Do not. It happened like two days ago. It's, it was big news. I did not hear about this. Wait, was it not Beast? Fuck. Ori, I can't believe you got God by the audience. Just imagine all the people running up and cracking open the fortune cookies and reading their fortune. Hey. What? Or Beast. Why would they land on the interstate? Why wouldn't they just fly? They fly, yeah, right? Don't they need to... I'm about to say the stupidest thing I've ever said, I think. They're probably in yeah, boxes yeah. and stuff. Don't... Isn't oh it God. harder to fly the higher up you're flying? Like, don't bees There's have, like... air resistance. Yeah, don't bees have, like, a maximum flight height of, like, you know, 100 feet or something like that? Oh, come on. Okay, and? Well, Watch I don't know. This <laughs> Just making conversation. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought, I thought you were trying to make a point about the flying beast. It's like, what? Intense headline from Yahoo News. Thought I was going to die. Man attacked by blank at garden. I can't believe it's not right. Yep, come. <laughs> I hate when that happens at the garden. Oh, man. Bush gardens. You know what I'm talking about? Huh. Me when I'm and I'm at Bush Gardens and I and I you know No, okay, that's fine. Uh, we're not gonna finish the bit for you, Because right? Bush is kinda like slang for you know pubis? Yeah. 
How come Chibli's name in Discord is just C dot 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 dot? I don't know. It must be a bug. I don't know. It is. I tried to change my name because they wrote out the ads. I tried yeah. to change my name to Google, and I think it, <laughs> I think it, I think I got in trouble. Oh. Ian Burns, <clears throat> BBC, the hmm. Suez Canal blockage caused an overlooked shortage. Customers can't get blank. Okay. And a Cleveland company is the first to offer okay. a unique funeral hmm. service. They turn the deceased's blank into permanent hmm. memorials. Now you're gonna write one line. It has to it work for like both. Okay. Yeah. Either of these two blanks. Mm. Ah, cum. Semen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I it takes the cum. dead guys cum. <laughs> <laughs> I, think it, I think it is cum. Oh, dude, you can finally suck off a dead guy. Hmm? Sucking off chili dudes. Wow. Inside what? the morgue's deep freeze. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not two of these. You don't think it's turds? <laughs> <laughs> Customers can't I don't know, get like turds. people do some messed up stuff with me. I just don't think they'd type turds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think they'd write turds. You sure about that? <laughs> Considering the way you laughed, yes. I'll give it a, a pity thumbs up though. Customers can't get turds. <laughs> <laughs> No, a turd's not like, like poop, like um, it's like a kind oh. of candy. Oh, it's like cheese turds. Grand name. What? It's like a chocolate turd. So you've never had a chocolate turd before? Absolutely not. Mm. I've had a few chocolate Have you? turds, honestly. <laughs> no, but I heard about them. Hey, how do we do? I heard you make them, right, Mouth? You make you make them? I I try to like oh, a batch of day. Lie. Thank you, thank Double you. Double deception. I voted Crocs on both. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> it just seemed believable. Yeah, this is more believable than that. Mal voted hair on both. You guys are Why crazy. <laughs> Live a little, Ryan. <laughs> Customers can't get hair? What is... <laughs> Two pays, brother. Yeah, I, went, yeah. I went with the, the fake... The, the, the dildos. Oh, man. Seriously, no one going with turds? Come on. <laughs> we are laughing. It was fucking garden gnomes. It had to be, man. They turned the deceased garden gnomes into... Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Uh -oh. I thought they were, like, turning the deceased into garden gnomes. I was like, that's... that. That's Mouth, those are two separate oh, things. Oh, man. Dude, I saw a fucking oh, video so last different. week on Reddit about a horse. And it had a horse fart, and it was horrible. No, horses fought like fucking crazy, dude. It was like the whole... Yeah, got kicked in the yeah. head by another horse. Oh, while would it, it was... fought it? While it was trying to mate, they were trying to breed, and it uh, died. No, probably probably uh, deserved it. No, oh, didn't, no, did, no, not it to didn't. die. I didn't hear the die part. Sorry, I didn't hear the die part. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear that part. I didn't hear that part. Uh, it was a horrible video. Yeah, well, why'd you watch it, man? You yeah, brought it back in because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what, well, what it was. are you going to. I don't know, man. Whatever it's like, pops uh, up on my feed. He's on r slash watch animal dies, and the title is false. <laughs> gets kicked in the head and dies. And he's like, I don't know what happens in this video. Really what the fuck? <laughs> and you I got a new joke. If you okay. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. Okay. How does a cat? What do you? What do you? What do you call it when you can't sleep, but because you just stay up and you're eating a lot of food? Democracy is important. Midnight snack. Binge eating. And some num 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 num. That's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. I learned that one at preschool. Learned what insomnia was at preschool. Two blocks down from no, Rajah yeah. Avenue, just across from Impossible Boulevard, um, num, num, num. is a great bagel <laughs> shop. But now it's time to split the. Maybe I should go back to bed. This is the longest video <laughs> game ever. I know, so dude. Now we got 90 device. seconds of what? I don't think I understood. You, you oh, try to write pretty, a prompt to, that but causes like, people the that. The prompt doesn't make any sense. So it's you know like, you ever am I voting that people think this is good or bad? Like I don't I don't get it. You are basically filling in a blank to write a 
would you push the button prompt that gets as close to 50 50 from the audience as possible yeah that's fair <laughs> let's just play quick salt man i think this one <laughs> just, uh, at least my prompts just talks. <laughs> that's a suck prompt so it would be like you uh take a picture of an alien but in the back of the picture your mom has her blank hanging out and then you write like nipples what and like and what's, what is, and what's the is it like are this? you happy you have the picture are you sad you have the picture like it's like what then there's a question that's like would you release the picture i see yeah. a meteor maybe i didn't read that part of mine however Whenever you are being filmed, you have a tendency to do this. Wait, I think my answer is actually good. <laughs> Wait, I think this works. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Whatever you tendency to you aren't in the your heart will get all the credit. Do you go on camera? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good as hell. Why wouldn't I go on camera? <laughs> yeah, but then you're co then you're coming on camera, bro. In Who front cares, of national television. I'll just make a mess in my pants. <clears throat> yeah. Why don't crazy. you just do that now, Justin? Hands just free come? That sounds great, man. Justin, just do it Justin. now. Justin. Yeah, Justin, equate that to coming on your stream. Every time Dude, you go live, you come on the stream. If no one saw me jacking off and no one's looking at my crotch, that sounds great. I get to no, come every day, right? No, it. that is horrible. Yeah. You're going to be disease. Gonna be playing a game and you're going to go. Justin, uh -huh, it's going to be uh -huh. oozing out of your zipper the whole time. This is only one time. Mo what are you talking about? You guys are insane. Your zipper. You're insane. I can't believe I'm the best person that's ever played this game. I, I want to make it How clear. How often never are you going to be on, on a true crime streams. documentary? I think I just really like coming. I'm sorry. I guess I'm a freak. I guess I'm a weirdo who likes to come. Yes. I would not come in front of people. They wouldn't ever know. in my life. They know. We can tell. That's even worse, I feel. Do you appease the bees? <laughs> who wrote this spot? with their queen. They agree to come. The bees have got to be better, though, right? The bees. Uh, everyone's yeah, talking about so. the bees. I Butterflies know. pollinate. Yeah. Yeah, they're just not as good at it, I think. I don't know. Oh, that was. But I'm not pissed off the bees. Even the audience I'm not. split the room. And now, binge pipe presents. Split the rock the boat. Stakes. They say so binge work. pipe. It's a binge so. pipe game. Security camera. One what does that mean? Captures definitive proof of Bigfoot, but in the back, I don't know. You can be seen doing. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if this is. I wonder if this is Ryan's prompt, <laughs> considering he said like the same scenario. What are you talking about? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just vote with your heart. <laughs> huh. Dude, does Jay Owing mean um? <laughs> Jerk would that be jack offing? Yeah, would that be jack offing? <laughs> I'm jack offing. Listen, you got footage of Bigfoot, but you're cranking it. You know, I'm, to... I'm, I'm sharing it, man. Oh, you can. I, think be, that's I good thought, viral I thought video. Bigfoot was JOing the hentai. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the background like, of the why picture of I share him. that? I get billions he's... of views, man. Oh, man. In the background of his own picture, he's jack off, jacking off. I share that. I wouldn't tell anyone if I jacked off hentai. No you, chance. What? You, that, you wouldn't share that, but you would come on TV in your parents? <laughs> you wouldn't see it. You wouldn't see it. We would see. Oh, no. We know. They wouldn't Surprise. know. Because would you could see your face. They would just Dude, think maybe not, I was I was sucking on like a sour fucking Dude, that, would, is that your O face? <laughs> <laughs> they making a real sour at the face. End of the, yeah. At the end of the documentary they do that silent shot where it's like just ambient sound and the person being interviewed stands up and walks away. We would you would stand up and there'd be a big wet spot like all down your leg. I'm not gonna lie. Like a year ago. I don't care, man. A year ago, I had a cult living next door to me. No, you didn't. No, I literally fucking did. They had like Prove tents, it. like. Okay, Prove well. Was it wait, the... I want to hear. Cult or a commune? Was, wait, was it Chip yeah. Nation? I think oh, it was yes. just a backyard Pumping. church. I'm not gonna lie. Justin, you're calling the cops on people? Yeah, yeah, on Jeff Dunham cult. Hell yeah. You're <laughs> jacking off live on TV, but you're afraid of a little cult. <laughs> Holy cow, it's a tight ass game. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, they'd walk around in like robes and shit, and they had a tent for baptizing people. It was crazy, bro. You should watch the movie The Burbs, Chipley. This sounds like a church. Oh, classic movie. It's a very good movie. Yeah, but, but it was a church in a backyard. It was scary. Midsummer, Church Sweden, Bad Chess. Also, yeah, just let them fight. 
It's the zany guy from Third Rock from the Sun. Why yeah. would you? He's, he's dead too, isn't he? Ryan, this is, is like a dead? really this. Yeah, I, he died like a you. couple years ago. I think he, I mean, yeah, he did. didn't split the room. He's not dead. He's absolutely. Oh, Fred Stewart's Gilbert, a Godfrey. Fred Stewart is alive as hell. Look, it was a bad answer, but it was not insensitive. Damn, why was I so sure he was dead? You just earned some bonus. <laughs> I know he's. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you killed him. Were you thinking brain? of his career? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, how do it's, you I, I how do you follow up third rock from the sun? Because it's actually worked. And it gives you two options for how you will well, unlock your home screen. Why did I you think he like phone in your arm died trying to jack off? This. What are you talking what about? Wrong I thought he you. like did the David Carradine thing. <laughs> it's wild. If I see that headline tomorrow, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. <laughs> I'll lose my mind. Third Rock from the Sun actor dead <laughs> from jacking off. <laughs> oh, sources I saw close. Elder. <laughs> I, I, Elder I'll be honest, I didn't really read the question and then I just saw the answers and I was like, that's funny. It's like, <laughs> man. Wait, keep talking about this so no one pays attention. Okay, it's gone. Do you think he? Do you think he'd still have his squinty face? I don't even want to know, man. I don't want to see French Stewart's death mask. Who the fuck? Ain't French Stewart a soup? Like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, man. I should make some French what? onion soup. <laughs> oh, that guy. Oh, Never man. made him. We could we could try Madverse City. Because we, have, oh, we, have, we haven't played it in a long time. What about yeah, let's do Madverse City. Madverse City. Do it. Do you have I've to never rhyme in that one? City. Guys, the one and only time I did it, I absolutely destroyed everyone. It's, it's joke, but but rap. Oh, is every? It's a little crungo, but I it's, it's okay. It's fun. It's is fun. everybody's screen hidden? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, hold the door. Hold the door. Okay, you're good. Okay, and you can mouth, see the mouth code. the type of guy to hold a revolving door for someone. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I got this for you. I got this for you. That's good. That's a pretty good one. You should save that for the for Madverse City. Doors opening, y'all. Oh, what's happening to my okay. voice? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what the hell? You know who it is. He's got morning voice. And tonight we got a lot that, something that just happened to me. Bro, I think you oh just hit God, puberty. I, I went through puberty. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yippee. Oh, wow. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'll take over, I guess. Do you want me to skip this or should I we watch? Why is no one else laughing, man? That was that was really good. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. I, that was, I, I appreciate when people go for it. No, that's all. That's all I do is I just go for it. You're a real go for it kind of guy. Very true. Insert post. Oh, can we appreciate how Chibli makes Brian laugh like no one else? Oh man, I don't know. Mouth gets me pretty good too. <laughs> can we appreciate how Chib and Mouth make Ryan laugh like no one else? <laughs> Follow up post. Does anyone have this clip from nine years ago? <laughs> Three seconds later, replies with that exact clip. Hello. Oh my god! Guys, do not click suggestion. It doesn't write in a suggestion, it just does it for you. I'm rapping against chat GPT. Uh, yeah, literally. It's me against Chibli. Oh, okay. Hi, Dude, I... I'm the next Brendan Fraser. <laughs> what the hell? That's what the AI wrote. That sucks shit, bro. Bro, the AI sucks shit, <laughs> Fucking man. bus driver type flow. Yeah. They literally just write oh, fucking man. random words. They don't even try. Check out my grill all set in with gold. Check out my opponent pretending to be 26. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. You'll be crying too when I dunk on your meme. Jeez. What's wrong with my meme? <laughs> I'm going to tell her you said that, bro. <laughs> Damn. Chibli Nation has fallen. <laughs> I have to vote and then just see what my cat's not over. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, never let the whale. I mean, never let the fucking AI write for you. What? Damn, just, what it, the AI was so good you didn't understand it. <laughs> I read the whale. I got confused. 
Oh no. Okay, I did pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy what the fuck? cow. Huh. Did you, did you get the game to write for you? What the fuck? No, it didn't let me finish. It fucked me. Oh. It, it shouldn't have let you start. Wow. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> what? My Bro. face and your knees. Oh. The, the, the <laughs> thought is my yeah. face is much stronger than his knees. Oh, I'm not even going to give Tori the, pi the pity vote. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> no, fuck, fuck you, man. Time to oh, vote. Man. That's right. Nice. That hurts. <laughs> Corey still did better than me on the first round. <laughs> yeah, Chili, oh. you know the funny thing is? I voted for you in that first round. All right. my next <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. Uh, oh, damn. Smashing your dreams like they're made of jello. We're about to get destroyed by one peculiar fellow. Oh! Oh! I will kill you with a gun on the Oh, shit. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no. Step into my kitchen as I make you a shit salad. It's what the hell? Like that. Nasty thick shit. Not what the fuck? I don't like that. Smoking that dress will got me big time scrumming. Boy. You don't need to be. Remember scrumming? I do, I do. Oh, Why am I in a fetal oh, position? It's a new medical phenomenon sweeping the world. Mm -hmm. It's when you smoke too much weed that you scream and vomit at the same time. Yeah, oh. Put that in like the New York Times. It's called in. scrumming. Put that in like New York a dance Times. Move. They did surgery on a grape. Triple mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Violence uh, wins, y'all. They're having a goat off, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, oh. Do you know what a rhyme is? So <laughs> furky, weirdy. Rhymes are overrated and too easy. <laughs> Why are you no, telling that to me? Other people writing fucking just a sentence that doesn't have any rhyme whatsoever. No, I'm with Corey. <laughs> 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 that's that's my performance. Nice work, nice a rap battle where the uh, one person just that's admits defeat and dies. And dies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man. <laughs> guys, we should do it. We should do an eight mile watch party in here one yeah. night. Do you guys want to watch? Yeah. We should do that I've never one night, guys. It, Just the boys, just the boys. Congratulations. Keep here. Got our winner. Now it's time for the next couple of Girls wouldn't show up there. anyway. They're probably too busy eating sushi. Oh my god. Oh wow. Man. I'm slaying these dresses. You don't leave a pimple. You are smooth brain. Simple, simple, simple. Oh! My kill me, kid, I'll be rolling out to all the full party. Damn. Okay. 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 That was some words. Yo, where the next body? Get your gears in here. Don't come at me with that big old girl. Wow. Wow. Should I call the customer service? Cause you're floundering here like an actual student. All right. Thanks. Appreciate you. You're gonna win just because chat is imagining you sucking me off. Although I think we all win. <laughs> <laughs> but 
would you go on a cr on a true crime documentary if yeah. every time you're on camera Ryan had to suck you off? <laughs> Wait a minute, do I get the answer? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, we would do it yourself. And that's what really hurts. No respect for the corn cob TV reference. Like, I, I voted for you, man. You gave me the pity vote. I gave you the pity vote. <laughs> Mine was good. It was. It was. Chat's just freaking horny. It's like the easiest game of all time, probably. I think I might have gone too aggro on my invention. Yeah. Look, I've been forced down a path that I have to talk about common cocks, okay? I didn't make this choice. I just got... I, this is the path I had to take. I'm didn't sorry to anyone who hates that. Both of my choices were about cocks and coming. <laughs> oh, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. I didn't write either of them. <laughs> One of the ones I got was about come, and I didn't pick it. Tool. Really I went against the grain. Saving it for later? No time to be shy. Yep. Exactly. Now, let's see those inventions. It's me. I'm sorry in advance. I'll present. <laughs> Constant peer pressure is stressing me out. A lot of people would tell you to go to therapy or get better friends or uh, have an internal locus of control so that your self-esteem is higher. I am going to tell you, forget all that. That's hard. Instead, just get addicted to Genshin Impact. And then Ooh. you will very hashtag, hashtag, quickly hashtag. You run out of peers to pressure you. Genshin Impact, of course, with its uh, famous tagline, Hey kid, give me your credit card. <laughs> nice, nice. Nice. It is true. One of my friends recently started playing Genshin and I've, I've lost them. I'm going to do present for me because I'm not funny and witty like that, man. I don't got the energy, bro. Let the masters <clears throat> show you how it's done. Hey, Toby. Do it, masters. It looks like you have a problem. You bet I do, Lena. I keep wasting my time <laughs> doing this. Oh, that man. Hey, that was mine. But I think I've got yep. just what you need. It's just a little thing called. Oh yeah. This is a cock <laughs> grenade. But what does it look like? Glad uh -huh. you asked. No, What's no, no! Don't show me what it looks like. It looks like. <laughs> it's a cock ring <laughs> with a grenade <laughs> tied to the bottom <laughs> of it. Cockery, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, it didn't let me finish writing ring, okay? Not to worry, my easily influenced friend. So, so you stick your cock in. Yeah, and then if you touch it. It will, it will uh, blow your cock off if you touch it. Okay. So you can't come because you're gonna, you're gonna die. Well, my just well, your balls would still do okay. it live on TV. Oh man. No, I would hate that. Uh, I don't remember what mine was. Okay. Oh. Um, I need to get thick fast. <laughs> You ever thought like, oh man, I gotta be, they want me to bulk up to play Bane. I gotta get thick fast. Well, get yourself ice cream. You, you, <laughs> yum. Gonna say yum. You ice cream. If you eat all the ice cream, you're going to get thick fast like Bane. Uh, no, um, I think, I think this is invented. Creamy time. <laughs> Well, this is already a thing. So man. much cream, your lungs get thick. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> so, so your invention is ice cream. <laughs> oh. Fucking kick him from the group. That's already a right. fucking thing, dude. I'm not even joking. That's such hey, stupid bullshit. Uber he didn't just, even invent something. That's already fucking real, man. Uber's just new taxis, man. And look at them. It's get him out. Just, no, Chibli, it's more calorically dense ice cream. I'm leaving. I'm it's leaving. Cream. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad I joined an hour late so I don't have to put up with you. We needed you for quicksort. You know, I, that's why I slipped in, I'm going to be honest. Y'all like rocking with the cockery? <laughs> I think it's guaranteed to win. But also net yourself a Pandering is so easy. Oh, man. In a <laughs> well, you're welcome for the tag. You're the prompt, Chibli. You cash. little horny guy. Let's see how you did. Oh. I'll take it. Oh! Damn. That's money, man. Oh! oh. What? Guaranteed to win me on. <laughs> Oh, the, uh, but you know, I'll take it. 
Wow. Well done. He liked the cockering part of the, the equation. <laughs> you know, it's cool that it blows up. What the hell? I put some money into to the wit, the wit morning. I like that one. Dude, everyone's getting funded. Yeah, except me, I'm wow. broke. What the hell? Oh I'm no! Like, oh, everyone oh, hates the pop-up You don't even get the tent. <laughs> I mean, pop-up house. Not a fucking tent. Sorry, you don't get the pop-up house. What a, Qu a quick wheel? No, 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 no. no. Quick wheel? Oh I my wish. god, we're six minutes past, yeah, man. Show up on oh. time next week, maybe. Yeah, should we wake up at two a.m. Yeah, no. I'd, I'll be honest, the only way, reason it's hard to wake up in the morning is because it's so cold, man. Aww. Winter it's, time, it's winter, winter time. time. He's in New Zealand, he's yeah, in but New Zealand. Like, sleeping in the winter is the best. I can't yeah, but sleep then I straight. get out of bed. Mm. Later. Yeah. Right, done. I, I hate a goodbye. Alright, Kate, are you ready to go? I am the worst at goodbyes. I didn't know that was like a thing that people get mad at or think is like noteworthy when someone leaves a party without saying goodbye. I used to do that shit all the time. You might have talked to like 20 people at the party and then all of a sudden like you're expected to say goodbye to every single one of them. Bro, when I say when I want to leave, I want to leave. I'd rather just go. If you don't see me there, there's an implied goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. I will see you. Now that I think about it, I guess is Monday Victoria Day? In that case, I guess I would see you on Tuesday. Long weekend! Chim Nation! I didn't even know. Later. Has Ryan told you the story where our daughter, she has like the ocean mammal encyclopedia? And then uh, she pointed at Dugong and then said, looks like daddy. And then Ryan said he never felt like a personally attacked in this uh, degree ever. Do you know Dugong? But well, not the Pokemon, the actual... Do, do, do... Not, wait, what's the Pokemon? It, it, it's Dugong. D-U-G-O-N-G. And then, um, it was image of Dugong <laughs> sucking the ocean floor. It was this image. It was this image. And they said, looks like, <laughs> looks like daddy. Does it look like Ryan? And then Ryan was like, what the hell? Ryan when he's eating spaghetti. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's Ryan when he's sipping water. Where is that image? When Ryan was sipping water with his straw. It looks just like, that image just looks like, look like this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. This image reminds me of this image. Uh, oh. <laughs> Looks like daddy. They're the same picture. <laughs> I cannot stop looking at it. I'm actually... It's... I didn't even know this creature until... Ryan told me the story, and I was like, what is Dugong, the Pokemon? And then Ryan's like, no, there is actually like a mammal, like, oh, like sea mammal. It's called Dugong. And I was like, what? And then he showed me the picture, and I laughed, and I laughed, and I laughed. You know, I actually fell yesterday. I was wearing this like super slippery socks, and I just cleaned the floor. And our floor is wooden floor. And then the vacuum cleaner, so for some reason, it, it just like, it tipped over and it was falling. And I was like, oh no, if it falls, it's gotta, it's gotta get broken. So I try to 
canted in midair, but then the floor was clean and also my socks were slippery. So I fell forward. So I actually hurt my knee. And you can see that, like, my knee got a little scuffed. And I was like, oh, my knee, ouch, my knee. And then my daughter, like, she's an angel. She goes like, oh, my God, mommy fell. Don't worry, mommy, I'll get your booboo bandage. And then she goes, gets the booboo bandage. She peels the, she gets the bandaid out of the package. And she puts it on, like, the, she puts on where I, I got, like, I scraped my knee. And then she, like, puts it so gently, and she goes, like, It's okay, it's okay, you will feel better, you will feel better soon, it's okay, it's okay. And then she was, like, petting it, and it was, like, so cute, and I was, like, oh, oh my daughter, she's, she's a freaking angel. And then Ryan goes, like, now that you fell, do you feel bad that you laughed at me when I fell in the stairs? And I was, like, no, it only makes it more funny. It's been it's been a long time since I fell and I forgot how it feels to fall down on the hard f floor and and um and I was like man falling sucks it hurts too much but then I you know Ryan brought it up and I remembered how Ryan fell face forward and like you know down the stairs and <laughs> at that time it was funny but then it got even more funny it was funny but it's now more funny it's probably even worse at Ryan's age. Oh, come on. He's only four years older than me. It's not It's not that much of a difference. But, I mean, he is bald. So, it's like, you know, maybe maybe no uh, cushion. No cushion from the hair. He's also heavier. So, true. And also, he fell from the stairs, not just from the flat ground. And face forward. I don't know. Like, the way he fell was so funny. Like, you know how... When someone is about to fall, you know how they try to like grasp, like they kind of fray a little bit, right? Like they're like, oh, and they try to like either like try to catch something, you know, like they try to like try to fall on their bum or something like that. But then when Ryan fell face forward, it almost looked like someone who gave up. Like, I'm sure it wasn't that Ryan gave up, but I think. By the time he slipped, he gave up on trying to, like, recoup of what was gonna happen. So he just kind of, like, let it happen by falling face forward. So it almost looked like a tree going down. Like, no frail, no nothing. Just, like, face forward, falling straight. It was so funny. It still is very funny. And then, you know, um, Ryan told a story to his mom when we were in Kingston and then Ryan told on me Ryan was like and guess what mom Kate laughed at me and I was like <laughs> I was like well it was funny <laughs> it was funny and then you know Ryan's mom also laughed so she's on my side if for some reason we had like camera inside of our house and if that if I was able to capture that moment on the footage, dude, I'm, I'm gonna upload that shit on YouTube. Gonna get like 10 million views. <laughs> I'm telling mom. If I knew that he was gonna fall down from the stairs, I would have I would have gotten my camera ready for sure. Did I miss the daycare updates? Oh. Not really. Full full day daycare basically started since yesterday and it is the best thing ever happened almost. Um but then I got I got a news for Ryan. So every time whenever I drop Luna off, Luna cries because she's like, Mommy, don't go, I miss you, mommy, I love you, mommy, don't I miss you, don't go, mommy, mommy and she cries, right? And then the daycare lady for some reason that is like a very big no no that, that she cries. So the daycare lady asked me to ask Ryan to drop Luna off instead of me. Because she might not cry if Ryan drops her off. She might be just crying because I'm dropping her off. That means I don't have to do any driving. So I'm like, oh, do I, I have to talk to Ryan about this. But like, you know. 
I just heard his heart shatter. <laughs> Another demand from daycare lady. I can't. I just don't understand why. Like, it's not that Luna cries for all day, right? Like, she cries um, when I drop her off. And maximum after... She doesn't even cry for five minutes. Like, a minute, she said. After I leave, um, she would cry for a minute and she just gets over it. So I just don't know why daycare lady just cannot leave. Like, I don't know, just like, leave that be. You know, she's just very, very attached to me. And it's not, it's not like bad. It's just, it's not abnormal. It's just the way it is, you know? And it's like, it's fine. Like, as she gets older, she will get over it. It's just that, you know, like, with a two-year-old's two mind, they, like, she just cannot get over the fact that she's separated from mommy and she's very sad about it. I don't know why. She's making such a big deal out of it. I'm pretty sure daycare lady has never seen a kid before. No, she said she has been running the same daycare for 18 years. I, I was like, why? You know, I, I wouldn't even uh, trust a lady who has never seen a kid. But this lady, when we were doing like interviews, um, she was like, I was running the same daycare for 18 years. Um... You know, like, blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, I got, like, I'm very, like, qualified. Look at all these, like, licenses that I got and stuff. And I was like, okay, okay. I think it's not that she does not understand that the children gets upset. I think it's just the fact that she doesn't want Luna to be crying when she gets dropped off. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it, it's bothering her. Or, I don't think it's the fact that it bothers her. I think it's just that she thinks it's normal for children to not cry when the parents drop the kids off. But Luna is, Luna is you know, not normal in, in a sense that, like, she always cries in the morning. But it's like she just gets over it, in, like, after a minute. And then... And and Chad, I I told this to my Chad two days ago, but you would not believe what she said after. She said, "You should really feed your daughter three times a day." I just like that just came out of nowhere after she told me to put some varieties in her lunch, and then and then she told me to feed her three times a day, and I'm like, "Wow, something that I didn't know." I guess I was like. Oh, what the fuck, man? I was, I feed her three times a day, of course. I don't do, like, it's not like she is so underweight that she's so thin. Like, you, you see her, like, she's healthy. Like, her weight is, like, above 50 percentile, but, like, not in the, like, overweight zone or anything. Like, she's, like, actually super healthy and everything. And, 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 and she's telling me to feed my daughter three times a day. When I am already feeding her three times a day, like I just, I was so confused. I just, I, I don't know. I really do, like, really not. I do not like her at all. I don't know, especially with the comment even today saying like you should have your husband dropping your daughter off because like she always cries when you drop her off. I'm like, what the? Fuck? It's your job, lady. But you know, like, what made me even more angry was that, like, I didn't know how to respond to that comment when she told me to feed my daughter three times a day. I was like, like, I mean, I already do, right? But she was sounding, like, so demanding. So I was like, I replied to, like, oh, okay. But I just, like, I, I hate the fact that, first of all, I'm not a very stand-up person. So if someone, if some pushover comes and pushes me around I, I just get rattled like I don't I don't go like hey you stop that you know so when she was telling me like make sure to feed her uh three meals a day I was like oh okay but I'm just like hating it hating my myself more so than the daycare lady because like I responded oh okay I should have said like 
But she, I already do. What do you, who do you think I am? Do you think I'm a terrible mom? Like, what the hell? What would have Ryan said? Probably the same. But he would have not taken it as emotionally as I did. I think he would be like, yeah, okay. And then in his mind, he's like, this lady, this lady is crazy. You know what I mean? Like, he would just like, oh, okay. as like brushing it off. You know, like, whatever, lady. Kind of thing. <laughs> but, I, I mean, Ryan, he said, he said he's like, when, when I pick Luna, um out of the daycare like i give her the stare down i give her i give her the stare so that like she doesn't take me easy and i was like i don't think you need to like stare down i think you're already like a little scary looking anyways <laughs> so i was kind of thinking like what do rich people do and then you might say like they might just they might just hire a nanny but like i don't i don't like the idea of nanny because i had nanny when I was growing up and I I personally did not like it so it's like if you're rich you would just hire someone oh man but I, I hate nannies it's not that I hate nannies it's just that I don't like the idea of nannies I don't know I just because I, I grew up with nanny and my mom was always busy and my dad was always busy so they were never around and you know, like, I just, I don't want to be like my, my parents. So, I, like, I don't mind the daycare. Because daycare, it's like, it's a set schedule. So she knows when it starts and when it ends. And it's kind of like routine. It's almost like preparing your child for, like, going to school kind of a system. Whereas a nanny is kind of like, oh, your parents are busy. I'm basically, like, replacement. Like, I don't know. That's how I feel. And I, I'm sure I'm wrong a certain, a certain degree, but, like, I just don't like it. And, yeah, and there are other kids, so you get to, like, you are you get to play with other kids and stuff. Have Chib moved to Vancouver? I do not trust... Did I trust Chib? What if... What if we leave and then Chib says, oh, Have a good time, you two. And then Chib just, you know... Turns on his computer and then he's talking to uh, Chet GPT and going like, What color is your nipple? Or something. And I'm like, I what the hell, man? I just, I don't trust Chib. He would. <laughs> That's so Chib. <laughs> Didn't he actually ask Chet GPT, like, What color is your nipple? Or something. Uncle Mouth is safer. For some reason, I think I can trust Mouth a lot more. Because I bet what Mouth would do is that he would just take Luna to his garden. And then he's just going to literally grow her as like a farmer. You know what I mean? He's going to be like, oh, today's a busy day. We got to put this. We got to do this to the this vegetable. We got to harvest some peppers. You know, like he's going to raise her to be a farmer. I feel like, I honestly, if Mal Malf, are you, are you, if you're listening to this, if you um, move too close to Vancouver and want to be our nanny, we will hire you. We will pay you. We'll pay you good amount to be her nanny. I actually, the one person who I don't mind to be uh, our nanny would be Malf. You can grow your own farm, like teach her about growing plants and different types of plants and, you know, being out in the nature and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what about Dan? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Daniel has three kids of himself. You're, Daniel got three kids, dude. Daniel will max out her charisma stat and make her too powerful. Daniel will teach her how to steal seats in restaurants and and and, and how to socially trick people. He might ruin her English vocabulary too. Oh, that's true. She's gonna be like, 
mommy and then she's gonna say all this like danglish and i'll be like i have no idea it's gonna be worse than mad moon it's gonna be like mad moon times hundred and we're gonna be like what she's saying what she's saying and she's like uncle dan was teaching me all this and then we'll be like uncle dan you're fired third language it's like third language which nobody speaks Literally, Daniel doesn't even understand Danglish. Only Ryan understands Danglish, which is kind of terrifying. Mad Moonicity. Oh, man. Um, what is it? My libido's gone berserk. I don't want to go to work. I don't want nothing to eat. Driving up and down the street, but only two weeks ago. Two, three, you said you'd never leave me. Two, three, four, but here I am alone. One, two, then in this world of reckless happenstance, why do good things have to go away? Two, three, and leave you with nothing. Two, three, four, and she left me with nothing. If you know the word, sing along. You ever listen to Prozac, man? That was a song, dude.